Okay, now here I have filled in all the numbers. So as you can see in this map, all the numbers are filled in. You have the standard doubling circuit, 124875, 124875 halving, and your uh, 669339 pattern. Now again, this is looking at the front of the, if you're looking down the z-axis. This is what you'd always normally see. This is what everybody um, sees. This is the standard rodent map, if you will. Uh, what's unique about this map is the 1's and the 8's are next to each other. Okay, That's just something to remember to know what map you're looking at. So on this map, the 1's and the 8's aren't together. If I were to turn this, I'd be looking down the y-axis. Okay, as you can see here, if I can get it in the center. Now, what's if you look at this map, what's uh, interesting is I told you to look at the ones and eights on the other one. Well, here you have twos together and sevens together, so you know which direction or which axes you're looking down. Now, if I were to turn this and I were to look down the other axes, you can see now look I have four. And I have five. So now fours and fives are together. So that's how you know which map you're looking down. Now I told you earlier you have like a basic building block and then the other numbers are interwoven between them. What I was telling you earlier is if you look down, if you would turn this and you would look down the numbers you already have, you would be able to hide all the numbers. But now you can see that I have all the maps together. Check it out. Okay, this 4, this 7, and this 8 are on the front map. But, this 2 that's kind of hidden here, it's kind of covered up, it's kind of dark. If I would zoom in here and look, that's actually the other map. That's those other numbers. Now if you look at it from the very top, you can see, if you look at the points, if this was all squares, it would work. But since it's rhombic to decahedrons, this is the way it works. It's actually interwoven. So you can see here that this number two right here is actually halfway in between what I was looking at earlier which would be this eight one six and this four the two fits in between all of it so when I turn back and look down here theoretically I, I should um, be able to see this if I was doing just x y and z coordinates but since this is interlaced well, that's where those numbers appear that's why I couldn't figure it out on paper show you the same thing if you look down another axis you can see here it's kind of hard to see but this 7, 5, and this 9 are on the front part of this pattern but this 8 is actually hidden behind it so if I zoom up or scroll up or roll around or whatever you want to call it there you can see I'm on another I'm actually on another axis if I can do the same thing here it's hard to see but this one, this one, this one around the top. Now this one's in between those. So the points, it's a half step, if you will, from the points behind it. Okay. Alright, so now what I have is the basic building block with every other number missing. If I'm looking down the z-axis, this is what you would see see the voids if I were looking down the y-axis this is what you would see you see there's still voids and if I was looking down the X you can see there's still voids now if I look at this at angles see here there's the void spot if I look at it from the corner you see there's still void spots I can look at it from angles I can look at it from anywhere and there's always a void spot there so that tells me that you know you're missing parts which we are every other number so that's what the basic I'm gonna call it the basic building block is because there are other there this is one of four if these are positive numbers all the other numbers fit in there to be negative that's one of those things that I uh, need some help on so alright so here we are we are looking at the full map of the z-axis or looking down the z-axis if you were on the front so this is what everybody normally talks about this is the standard rodent map you can see here I got my doubling halving 
my uh, gap space. Okay, those are my patterns. Now, I just have those two in there, so I've just got the uh, Z axes if I look down it. Uh, I'm still in three dimensional, so I have my full cube, if you will, my full, all the numbers. And uh, check this out if I were to turn it, I've got all my numbers, so uh, that's it. They all be filled in, right? I can look down another axis and see all those numbers. Nope. Still got voids. So that's. Those are those voids I'm talking about. If I look at it from another axis, still got voids. I can look at it at angles, still have voids. Now my corner here, those voids are gone from last time. Looking from the front, those voids are gone. But if I look at it from the other axes, I can look at it anywhere and check it out. I still have voids there. Anywhere I look. So that tells me I'm missing I'm missing numbers, obviously. Uh, if you were to look, actually look at it like this, you can see here the, the maps. I don't have a full map. Even though I do have a full map here, when I look down at the z-axis, if I look down at the y, I don't have a full map. That's because those numbers are a half a step back when you look at it from a different axis. So like, um, it's hard to see, but this one here is a half a step back when I turn it and look down it. I see that a little better. Okay, but if I turn it back, guess what happens? Oh, now it's on. Now it's on the front of this map. So that's what I was talking about when numbers are like half steps, so they're they're kind of they're hidden behind other numbers. They're actually hidden at the points. Okay, you can see it better like this, where I've kind of got numbers on top numbers. If you look at it this way, I, I don't have numbers on top of numbers this way. Well, why not? Well, because I only have one set of numbers inside that basic block. Here I have two. Here I have two, even though it's hard to see. Okay. Okay, now this is all the building blocks I need to create a full pack of Vortex Math. Uh, crazy madnesses. <laughs> so, okay, this here is your basic building block I was telling you about. As you can see, you can see through it. There's other numbers behind it because there's another building block there. That's fine. But what I did was take those other numbers back out that I showed you earlier, and I placed them right here. So those interwoven numbers are next to each other. Okay, you can see I have three sets of numbers here. This one right here is your basic number set. This one here, when I slide this over into here, it'd be like uh, fill up all your z-axis numbers when you look down it. Okay, This building block right here, if I were to slide it over and put it in here, you'd be uh, filling up all the numbers with the y-axis. So I'm actually going to go ahead and do that right now. Right in front of your eyes. So slide those. I'll show you how those z-axis numbers fit in here, like I did earlier. Just like that. Okay. So now I have those those numbers. They are filled in just like I showed you earlier. Now it's interesting, and I didn't show you this, but all those building blocks have voids in them. Every one of them, including the one that I started earlier. So all have voids in them. Because they all fit together like a puzzle. So here you can see I have all my numbers, my standard map. And if I turn it, I have the same thing as I just showed you. I have voids. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide these other numbers in there. This is the other, what makes up the other number map. Got these set up so they should go together pretty easy here. Make sure that's right. Looking good. Okay, now. Now check it out. Now I've got this number maps full. One two four eight seven five. One two four eight seven five. 
this number map is full. One two four eight seven five. One two four eight seven five. But it's gonna be hard to do because I got that other block there. But if I were to look at this number map, it's not full. You can see here I have a a nine, and there should be a six here, a six. There should be a nine here, a three. There should be a three here. You can see I'm missing numbers on the top. That's this other basic building block. Now I'm gonna show you that you can't really look through here after you get two sets in it's pretty much fully closed up even though there are voids there they're really hard to see because it's just a big it's just a big jumbled mess so I'm gonna take this whole entire thing and I'm gonna place it in here for you so I've got all the sets of numbers inside here inside this matrix There you go. So now I have a complete. Now you can see if I was at the same angle I was earlier, you can see that I have 9, 6, 6, 9, 3, 3, 9. All my numbers are here now. Okay. It's very interesting once you get all these in here. It, it It's just a big chaotic mess. I don't even know how to decipher it or what it's going to be good for, but this is the way it fits together. If you wanted to take the. Uh, vortex space mathematics and turn them into a true three dimensional model fourth dimensional fifth dimensional sixth dimensional model whatever you want to call it this is it um, a lot of interesting patterns show up in here a lot of interesting things uh, that I will show you you can see when I look at it just right you can see this layer all red uh, you know by the beginning here I had three nights and six is all red this whole layer when you look at it like this is all red this whole layer when you look at it like this is all um, well it should be all green hmm yeah they're interwoven those are all interlaced but if you were to slice this thing, you would see how this this uh, top triangular piece here. You can see where the three nines and sixes they actually it's kind of see they actually form. You can see right there. You actually form this triangle, or you could just cut it off and have a piece of it, like a pie. All right, so that's how all these numbers fit together. I'm going to give you a little flyby so that you can you can study this model. Alright, now <clears throat> I'm going to let you watch this quick little animation. This is just some flyby shots. You can uh, pause the video and check it out yourself. But it is very hard to see. It's just a lot of stuff in one spot. But this would be considered a 9 by 9 by 9 um, matrix or road and coil or whatever. This is actually a 9x9x9. Nine by nine by nine. There are um, interweaving sets of numbers, three directions, for your three axes. So, it's interesting. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a monochrome view so you can actually see the packing structure. With this one building block, I can set another one next to it or on top of it or beside it or whatever and it will stack perfectly and the numbers will match you can see this point here how it's got the three the three points if I were to pack this structure with another one this bottom corner would fit right up against it so these three points would fit right inside those other ones that's how this structure fits together it's very interesting. Rhombic dodecahedron. So that's what that would look like. And back to a mess. <laughs> Alright. Uh, what next?